Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the Traveler's Outfit, which is available for 700 gems, along with the Traveler's Staff here, uh, which is 600 gems, or you can get both of them in a pack for 1800 gems, which includes five Black Line statuettes, five Monstrous Dice, and one Makeover Kit as well. They look pretty nice. This is default dies, which for the outfit, I believe, is just die remover. Um, so you can't quite tell what they are, but they're fairly muted, neutral tones. And it's kind of a nice, I guess, traveler's robe. Kind of like a acolyte, you know, very... So, very nice. I like it. Nothing too over the top. Nice, simple. Works. Let's have a look at the dies. Here is a full shadow of this. Every part of the outfit is dyeable. Top left seems to be the main fabric for the coat layer and then some highlights around the neck and hood. As well as on the boots here as well. Top right is the main layer for the boots, the belt, the glove and the hood as well as around the shoulders. Kind of seems to be most of the leather part or what you would expect to be leather. Bottom left is the trousers and the inner lining of the hood. Bottom right is all the parts you'd expect to be metal around the belt, the shoes. Very nice. And here is our contrasting layer for the outfit. Blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. That's how all the different layers interact with each other. kind of wish there was a little bit more that you could do with the coat here. Like, there's a few lines that would be nice if it was on a different channel, so you can make them pop, I suppose. But I still think you can make some really cool combinations. Here we have mist and dark chocolate on top with lemon shade and orange down below. We also have the Gentle Garden Swing Chair and Glider combo for 800 gems. I think this is the first time we've had a chair and glider combo. Is it? No, actually the Inquest Mark II chair, I believe, uh, was a combination. Here is the chair. And you do have two options. Your first option is a Gentle Swing. And your second option is a strong swing. Pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot move around with the chair. But you can... Swing, I suppose, which is nice. And I believe if you press the same one twice, your character will just stop. And return to standing still. Or sitting still, I suppose. Let's have a look at the glider. Which does not swing at all. Even if like this is sped up, this is slowing down. That's side to side. Bit of a shame that you don't have a swinging animation with that. Seeing as they already have it animated with the chair. Of course, the glider is dyeable. Unfortunately, the chair is not. The default dyes on it are ancient silver, Ceylon, pastel pink, and mushroom. Here is pure shadow abyss. It looks like everything bar the rope is dyeable. So top left is the four birds. Top right is the vine and the leaves. Bottom left here is the flowers. Bottom right is the wooden stool and the little aura around the birds. And here is our contrasting dye blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. Because the bottom left affects the color in different ways, all the flowers are affected by it, even though it looks like uh, some of them are blue. They're just appearing to be blue and they're actually purple. 
let's head across the board and look at these on all the different races of Tyria. And I should note that, unfortunately, you can't die the glider to affect the chair, which would be a nice addition, perhaps. But, uh, yeah, the chair is just always default dies. It is a nice chair, though. Wish you could also move it, but alas, you cannot. All right, here we go for Silvari. Here we are on Silvari with the Traveler's outfit and staff. Oh, we have an event. Do we? Maybe not. Um, interesting. But here we are on Silvari with the staff as well. Looking pretty cool. Very nice indeed. And of course, we also have the new chair as well. Which looks pretty decent on Silvari. The glider itself. Looks decent as well. Again, I just wish they would have a swing effect on it um, when you are using it. For the dies on the outfit, we have Bloodstone Indigo and Golden Lion on top with Eerie Purple and Bloodstone Dark Indigo down below. Then for the glider, we have Orchid and Antique Bronze on top with Ocean and Electro Blue down below. All right, let's head on over to Human. Here we are on Human with the new Traveler's outfit and staff. Let me get rid of me, me pet. Uh, looking pretty nice here. Get into the light as well, that would be helpful. Here is the staff as well. It actually works really well, I think, with the forest cape set. Uh, if I dyed them similarly, I think it would have been pretty good. Here we have the chair on human. Let's go for a gentle swing. And then a strong swing. Nice. And then finally we have our glider as well. I don't know why, but the human has a weird kind of smirk on their face. When sitting on the swing. Looks pretty decent on human. Pretty decent indeed. The dies that we have here, we have default on the outfit, die remover all the way around. And for the glider, antique bronze with enameled solitude, and then die remover on the lower two. Alright, let's head on over to Norn. Here we go. Here we are on Norn with the new Traveler's outfit as well as staff. Very nice, this dye pattern, I think. Very nice indeed. Very cool. Here is the chair on Norn. Let's go into a gentle swing. And now a strong swing.
And finally, let's have a look at the glider. Which the die colors are very odd on this one, I think. Actually, they're not too, too bad. Interesting that your... Your feet can go underground with this glider. Seems like the character is a bit uh, higher up than you'd expect. Just notice that there. Wicked lay enhanced creatures are roaming the desert. Right. What are you gonna do about it? So the dice here on the outfit we have chocolate and ruin on top with mithril and die remover down below, which I think is quite a nice combo. For the glider we have Dijon and Dust on top with Sky and Glory down below. And here we are on Char looking very cool. I like the uh, the grey and red. It kinda works well with Revenant's sort of skill aura as well. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Let's have a look at the chair. And then the strong swing. Nice. And finally, the glider here. Looking very nice with the red and the white. Very nice indeed, quite matching actually, now that I think about it. That is convenient. Oh, the staff is a bit odd on the uh, chair or the glider. It's going straight through my back, which can't be comfortable. So the dice on the outfit, we have Cherry and Chalk on top with Pyre and Shadow Abyss down below. Then for the Glider, Shadow Abyss and Crimson Lion on top with Top and Ghost down below. Alright, let's head back to Quando and wrap up the video. Oh, I didn't even notice on Asura, it goes right through your spine it seems. The, uh, the staff but that is it for today's demo guys I do hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did and subscribe for more in the future uh, you can check out this week's giveaway to be able to chance to win the outfit the staff or the chair slash glider and the link for that should be in the end screen you can join the discord the link for that is down below you can support the channel through the membership program or with super thanks as well and until next time, take care.